Hello, my name is Jules from Resin Jules. I am a resin artist and teacher based in the UK and I usually just put shorts onto YouTube but I really wanted to make a long form sort of video um, to put on here too. So this is my first attempt. I have no, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. So please forgive me and forgive the crudeness of this video. Um, I am learning and I'm teaching myself over here. So <laughs> please excuse that. So today I am making some of my drop swirl pots. They're a little bit different to my usual drop swirls because I don't do much swirling. I kind of let the pigment and the resin do the swirling for me in these pots. I was given some basic colors to use, an essential pigment set by Mold, and they asked me to make some pots, and I really wanted a sage and a maroon color. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm using those essential colors to make a sage and maroon. Color. <laughs> Sometimes words fail me. If you've been on my Instagram lives at all, you'll know that this is how uh, how things are. Um, I don't think I'm blessed with the gift of the gab, but hey, we'll try our best. So I liked this sage, but I decided to add a bit more yellow um, just to make it a bit lighter. And then here I go making the maroon color. I am using Mold Resin. Mold Resin is a UK company and I'm using their original resin which is a one to one mix ratio. So for these pots that take 220 mils each of resin, I've mixed up 250 mils of part A and 250 mils of part B to give me 500 and then I had a little bit left over um, which I just put into some other things. So that's okay. Always reuse the little bit of resin that we have left. So I'm really liking this color. It's quite maroon, but I think I wanted it a bit lighter. Yeah, I'm adding in some white and giving that a good old mix. And I believe I'm gonna give it a little um, lick of flame now. So you can either use isopropyl alcohol or a torch. You can't use both because the IPA is flammable. But I use that to pop any bubbles that are created by mixing a lot. So if you mix gently and just a little bit, you probably don't need a heat torch at all but because I mixed these colors from scratch, that was a lot. So I'm using the black and white. Um, I'm not sure if I listed the colors earlier. So I was given red, yellow, green, blue, black, and white. So I'm mixing white just for a contrasting color in these pots. And now I have some of the leftover resin and I'm mixing in some gold leaf. This stuff always gets stuck to your gloves. If anyone ever, <laughs> look at me struggling. If anyone ever invents gold leaf that doesn't stick to you, that would be great. Um, this is my glitter actually. I have my own website and I do have my own glitters and bits and bobs on there. And this one is a really popular one. It's called um, Twinkle Tints, Pastel Twinkle Tints and it's really popular because it's super fine and it suspends in the resin really well and doesn't look too chunky and glittery it just gives it a nice glimmer so the way i'm mixing the gold leaf there is just gently almost like folding it in so that i don't break up the leaves too much so that you get that really nice leaf look in the pot and i'm pouring so you can see here, I'm waiting until the sage green completely fills the bottom of the rim of the mold and then putting in the white and letting that settle. And that's so we get a nice clear definition between the two colors. I do the same with this lovely maroon shade over here as well. And here I go, I'm adding in the white. 
and next I'll be adding in the gold leaf with the glitter and then I'm going to go in little layers until it's full to the top making sure I scrape out my pots and I'll leave you with a little bit of music to chill with while I do that. My most favorite part so I left these pots for 24 hours to cure in the summer with the resin I'm using they can um, cure within sort of 12 hours there is a difference between cured and set and these will take another seven days to reach full cure so at the moment they're at set cure which means they are um, ready to be demolded they're solid to the touch not wet at all and not tacky but they do take a further seven days to completely um, cure on an invisible level <laughs> so I'm really happy with these I absolutely love the colors I love how much of the gold leaf suspended I love how much of it is visible. Pigment paste is a lot heavier than epoxy resin, so your pigment paste will always sink. And that's why it's important to put in a lot more gold leaf than you think you're gonna need and a lot more clear resin than you think you're gonna need. It's a bit more apparent on the maroon one here. You can see where the pigment has dropped down. I absolutely love that effect. I think it looks gorgeous. Now, one of the questions I get asked a lot with these pots is what are they for? Um, so I thought I would spend the rest of this video just giving little demos of things you can put inside them. Um, you can do little flower arrangements like this, little dried flowers. You can put a glass vial inside them with a bit of essential oil and use them as a passive room diffuser. You can use them as a pen pot, a makeup brush pot, all sorts. They're very, very handy to have. I sell a lot of um, these for desks. So a matching coaster and one of these pots for people's office desks. And they're really popular for that. Um, but yeah, this has been my first video. I hope it's been enjoyable and hopefully I'll continue to improve and things will get a bit more snazzy and jazzy as I go along. But that has been my video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone. And please subscribe. <laughs>